Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, please hit the like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get all of our recipes as they post. If you are a subscriber returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. Today, I'm going to show you how to make Hasselback chicken cordon bleu. This is a very easy dish that you can throw together on the weeknights and it is a beautiful dish to serve for guests. Hang out with me and I'll throw you how to show you how to pull. hang out with me and I will show you how to pull this one together. Now let's stir the pot. To start this Hasselback chicken cordon bleu you will start with your chicken breast and I'm going to cut mine um, six slices. Now you don't want to go all the way through um, because these will be like pockets that we're going to be putting our other ingredients in. You can do more or less slots if you want to. For me I'm going to do six. This is what you're looking for, so you see all of the slots there, but it's not cut all the way through. If you are new at this, <laughs> you will get two wood spoons, or you can get two wooden skewers. Put on either side of your chicken breast, and then you're going to cut down and the spoons or the skewers is going to stop your knife from going all the way to your cutting board. So now we have both of our chicken breasts done. I'm going to go wash these fingers. I'm going to lightly salt and pepper our chicken. I'm not going to put a heavy seasoning on it because I am going to have seasoning in our topping that we're going to make. So just a little bit of salt and pepper, and then we're going to set these aside. For our coating on our chicken, we're going to be using a Dijon mustard and honey. If you can find honey Dijon mustard, or if you have that in your refrigerator, you can use this. This is what I'm using. And we're just going to mix this together. For the measurements, please check the description below. The full recipe is there, and you can edit that recipe based on how many chicken breasts that you're cooking. And then you're just stir this together. After we get this stirred together, we're just going to dump it out into our plate. Now for what's going to make the crust on this, or it's going to make it a little crusty when we put it in, is our panko. So we'll start with, I have approximately one cup here. To this, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. I'm going to also add Parmesan cheese, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> and I'm going to add some garlic powder, some smoked paprika. That should give us a lot of good flavor on this chicken. This Hasselback chicken cordon bleu. Now we've also needs a little bit of fat in this. So for the fat, we'll be using butter. You'll take your melted butter and just pour it over your panko mixture. And then you're going to stir this together. Once you get your panko all mixed together, then just dump it into a plate. That beautiful color. Guys, I love paprika and the color that it brings. And my favorite is smoked paprika. So you'll notice in a lot of my recipes, I reach for that smoked paprika. So now it's time to put some flavor on this chicken, the Hasselback chicken cordon bleu. So we will start by covering it in this yummy mustard mixture. You'll just get this completely coated using that tool that God gave you, your fingers. <laughs> get it rubbed in good. Get it in all of your little pockets that you've made in your chicken. Now you will move it over into your panko, making sure that you also get all of this panko in those pockets that you made, as well as pressed onto your chicken um, using that mustard will make it um, stick to your chicken. Look at that. Where's it at? I don't know. It's buried. 
then I will be transferring this over. Uh, what I have here is one of my um, baking baking pans, Oops, cookie sheets. I have lined it in full and I sprayed it with a little bit of nonstick sp um, spray just to ensure that these turn out perfectly. Um, and of course, coating it with the full makes for very easy cleanup. And then you'll do the same thing with the other breast or as many breasts that you're working with. There are many ways that you can prepare your chicken, but I'm telling you the easiest way is to get you two plates and you can get such an even coating on your chicken. I'm going to go get washed up. I'll be right back. Now I have to add the ingredients that will make this the cordon bleu. So I am using Swiss cheese. And I am using Canadian bacon. These are cut in half moons so that they'll fit perfectly down in those little slots that we made. And we will just stick it in there. It is going to be sticking up some. That's okay. Not to worry. Just continue putting those in there. I think it's right pretty. Our house Hasselback Chicken Cordon Bleu is all stuck. We are going to be putting this in the oven at 400 degrees for 22 to 25 minutes. We're looking for an internal temperature of 165. I don't think that it will take any more than that time um, because we have cut our chicken and we're also using a boneless. So it shouldn't take very long for this to cook. We are using, I am using the Breville Smart Pro Air Fryer. Um, it is an appliance that I, I got it probably six months ago, and it has been an excellent addition to the household. So going in, our Hasselback Chicken Cordon Bleu is out of the oven, and it smells so good, guys. I can hardly wait to taste this. I'm going to let it rest for a minute. We'll come back, and we'll see what we did. This is cold and now comes my favorite time. I know it's your favorite as well. And that's the taste test. Nothing leaves the kitchen without the cook tasting it first. So we're going to take a piece from right at the end. That is a delicious bite. Mm-hmm. That was the most delicious bite. That Dijon that's in the honey on the chicken. You can taste the sweetness. You can taste the smokiness coming from the Canadian bacon and the paprika. This is a delicious meal. We'll be serving it tonight with creamed potatoes and roasted asparagus. But you can serve it with whatever you want to. We're going to also put some sliced tomatoes with ours. Folks, I hope that you have enjoyed this recipe and I hope that you will try it. If you do, please leave me a note down in comments and tell me how you liked it. If you would, if you haven't already, hit that like button. Also hit subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you get all of our recipes as they post. And until next time, stir the pot.